Since December of 2018, Microsoft enabled us to call its Azure AutoML APIs from our own Python programs to automate much of the machine learning process. In May of 2019, they enhanced their Azure portal so that you can now use these same APIs from a graphical interface without having to write any code. Currently, this new service is in public preview, so we'll take a look at its functionality. A complete machine learning process is a complicated system of integrated components and most data transformation and model creation phases are built by data scientists with computer programming languages. However, the new Azure Auto ML service enables a citizen analyst to automatically create predictive models from their own delimited files, which is terrific because most analysts don't have data science programming skills but they can create CSV files from Excel or SQL. Before data can be used to train models, it must be transformed into features which are more suitable for learning algorithms. Azure Auto ML will automatically perform scaling and normalization functions during preprocessing. And by default, its advanced preprocessing functions will perform any required featureization steps. After feature engineering, data is fed into a learning algorithm to train a model. However, we will want to use many algorithms to find the one that produces the most accurate model. Currently, Azure Auto ML has access to the following Python algorithms, and it will automatically try all of the ones that fit your prediction task and data. Most algorithms have a set of hyperparameters which must be tuned to find the combination which produces the best model. Azure Auto ML will automatically cycle through hyperparameters for you so that each algorithm will build many models. Auto ML will use a testing set to check the accuracy of each model and it will compare performance metrics to select the best model for you. Okay, let's go demo the new service now. Select an Azure ML workspace and then click on Automated Machine Learning. Click on Create Experiment, name your experiment, and then either select an existing compute cluster or click Create a New Compute. Give your compute a name and then select a machine size for each VM. Under the additional settings, you want to change the minimum number of nodes to one if you want to perform data profiling. I'm going to create 10 VMs in this cluster. Next, select one of the files that you previously brought into Azure or click the Upload button to bring in a new file. In preview mode, you can see the first five records in your file. You can see that I have a combination of numeric data like age and categorical data like work class. The Auto ML preprocessing tasks will take care of feature engineering steps, so I don't need to change my raw data by myself. If there are any columns that you don't want the algorithm to consider, just click their slider from included to ignored. When you click on the Profile tab, you will execute columnar profiling. Now you can see the distribution and summary statistics for each column. I will be using this U.S. Census data to predict if each citizen's income was more than $50,000. So my data contains two possible labels, one for less than or equal to $50,000 
and one for greater than $50,000. So my prediction task is a binary classification and income is my dependent variable. I can start my experiment now or I can click Advanced Settings to see if I want to change any of the default setup. After each model is produced, you can see many of its performance metrics, but the primary metric is the one that is used by AutoML to rank the models. My maximum training time is 60 minutes for each trial. A trial is a single training and testing run using one of the algorithms with a specific set of hyperparameters. I will have AutoML run 100 trials. I can pick a metric threshold or just leave it blank. Advanced pre-processing is checked by default and you'll definitely want to use it if you have values like date time stamps, categorical data, or text, or if your data contains missing values. I need to identify my testing source and here I'll use five-fold cross-validation. My compute cluster contains 10 VMs, so I'll run 10 trials in parallel. I could also define the maximum number of threads to use for each trial. These are the algorithms that AutoML can use to train my classifiers, and if I want to exclude any of them from use, I could check them off. I'll click Start to begin the experiment. When your experiment completes, you can view the results in this dashboard. This chart shows the accuracy of each trial. You can see that the model with the best primary metric came from this trial and its accuracy was nearly 87%. The lowest accuracy came from this trial and it was about 66%. With a wide range of accuracies between 66 and 87%, you can clearly see the benefit of having AutoML automatically run many trials for you so that you can find the best combination of pre-processing algorithm and hyperparameters. This chart shows 10 trials on each page and they are ranked in descending order by primary metric. The naming scheme is the type of pre-processing like maximum absolute value scaling, or standardization, and the name of the algorithm, like LightGBM or XGBoost, except for the voting ensemble name, which is the last trial run, and it combines the results of all the other trials by using average predicted probabilities. If you're comfortable with machine learning, you can evaluate each model's results by clicking its name to see various charts and metrics. Here are the charts on the left side and the metrics on the right. Once you know which model you want to use, you can click its download link to save it in Python's pickle format. And then later, you can have your IT department deploy it to the Azure Machine Learning Service. The last thing that I'm going to do is clean up after myself by deleting my compute cluster. Since I allocated it with a minimum of one VM, it will continue to run and incur charges, so I want to get rid of it as soon as my experiment ends.